events, we often have to deal with unknown numbers. Algebra is a process whereby we use letters to represent these unknown numbers. Let's look at an example. Supposing we were given the following puzzle and asked to find the missing number. We know that the answer is 6, because 6 minus 2 equals 4. In algebra, however, we don't use blank boxes. We use letters to represent numbers we don't know. We can use any letter we want to represent the unknown. It doesn't matter, but in this case we will use x. So in algebra, we would write this as x minus 2 equals 4. The letter, in this case x, just represents the unknown number. It is called the unknown or the variable. x minus 2 equals 4 is called an equation. It is called an equation because it contains an equal sign. The equal sign tells us that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal or the same. When we solve an equation, we are calculating what the unknown number, in this case x, represents. So the aim is to isolate the unknown, in our case x, and end up with x equals something. We have a number of rules we must abide by when solving an equation. Firstly, because of the equal sign, whatever operation I carry out on the left hand side, I must carry out exactly the same operation on the right hand side. By operation, I mean adding or subtracting a number to both sides, or multiplying or dividing by some number on both sides. We are allowed to carry out any of these operations once we do them on both sides of the equal sign. It is not possible to divide by zero. Try it on your calculator and you will see that it's undefined. Now, let's try a few examples. Firstly, x minus 2 equals 4. So we want to isolate the x, so to do this we need to add 2 to both sides. minus 2 and the plus 2 will give us 0, so we'll be left with x plus 0 on the left hand side, and 4 plus 2 will give us 6 on the right hand side. So x plus 0 just gives us x, so we've got x equals 6. So now we have a value for x, so our equation is solved. Let's try a second example. x plus 5 equals 12. Again we want to isolate the x, so to do this we'll subtract 5 from both sides. plus 5 and minus 5 will give us 0. And on the right hand side we have 7. So we're left with x is equal to 7. And our equation is solved. So 2x is equal to 10. 2x means 2 multiplied by x. What we are looking for is 1x or x is equal to something. In this case to get 1x or x we must divide by 2. But remember, if we divide the left-hand side by 2, we also have to divide the right-hand side by 2. Now, 2 will divide into 2 once, which will leave us with 1x. And on the right-hand side, 2 will divide into 10 5 times. So we're left with 1x equals 5, and 1x is the same as x. So we've got x equals 5. 3x minus 4 equals minus 16. So again we want to isolate x, so we have to cancel the minus 4. To do this we add 4 to both sides. So the minus 4 and the plus 4 will give us 0, so we're left with 3x plus 0 equals minus 16 plus 4 is minus 12. So we're left with 3x equal to minus 12. So 3x is 3 multiplied by x, so we need to divide this by 3. If we're dividing 3x by 3, we need to divide minus 12 by 3. So 3 will divide into 3 once, which will leave us with 1x. And 3 will divide into the 12 4 times, so we're left with minus 4. So this just is x equal.